In this video we're going to go through the reporting from a testing perspective at a solution manager. So the first thing I'm going to fire up is the STWB work transaction. So this is my testing project uh, and my test plan and all the packages. So generally uh, it, it, it's a matter of um, working your way through th this report and then doing forward navigation uh, into the testing package. And then from there you can navigate down into the scenarios, into the business processes, and then have a look at the results for each of the each of the test pack each of, each of the tests themselves. The next best is to come in via the Solution Manager Work Center and have a look at the BW um, analytics. So if I have a look at the Test Management Work Center and then under Reports, um, there's a few uh, analytics uh, reports. So I could have a look at the test effort, for instance. And on the maximization, you can have a look at the, the, the navigation. So the test execution errors, how many tests are OK. And then the next graph is the, the effort history. Right, so that's one report, and there's a, there's another two, there's another three down here. So they're by priority or by test plan progress is pr probably a decent one to have a look at. So if we maximise this, you can have a look at the number of tests that we've run, and then how many are okay, how many are not okay, and how many are, are untested. Okay, so not bad. Um, what's coming up in subsequent versions, uh, subsequent releases of Solution Manager is a dashboarding capability. So in here we can add uh, new apps as they're delivered by SAP. So here's the progress, progress of test plans. And if I preview this guy, this is the type of reporting that you'll be able to get um, out of a dashboard going forward. Alright, so at the moment there's a little bit of configuration which needs to be done from, from the customer. Um, and then you can either fix the body underneath here or um, change uh, the VW query. And here you're going to look for test plans for a particular user, for a project or for a solution. Uh, and then the dashboard will, will uh, re recalibrate and recalculate itself. Okay, so that's a standard reporting which you can get out of the solution manager um, out of the box delivered uh, offerings. So what I like to do is I like to extract the testing data and then push it into BI on demand. So once it's in BI on demand you can do some fancy reporting based on your own requirements. So first things first I have a look at the um, I have a look at the data sets which have been shared with me. So my colleague has downloaded the data from Solution Manager and uploaded it into BI On Demand. So if I click on test status by package uh, metrics uh, which have been uploaded for me. So here you can have a look at the data set. Not so interesting but what is more interesting is to begin exploring the data set. So here with a little bit of knowledge about what you want to see from a visualization perspective, you can cut and, cut and slice the data to suit yourself. Right, the first thing you want to be having a look at is the test packages. So how the test packages compare between each of the different groups. So at the moment we're only showing errors. But if I can click successful tests and tests without results, Now we can start drilling into a view to show how the teams are going for their efforts in testing. So from a visual perspective you can have a look at the portal team. They've got the same amount of errors as the BPC team so they've got a little bit of work to do. The business intelligence teams have, have gone really really well so they've got uh, nearly uh, they've got 100% coverage. Uh, the finance team, 
um, they've also got um, 100 percent coverage here the southern distribution team have got a bit of work to do so there's a, a, a few tests with no results so you can start drawing some conclusions on, on how some of the teams are going so you may want to drill into what the sales and distribution team, what errors they've got uh, from um, their test packages. So if we drill down and then try and find out which process steps the broken test packages belong to, you can do the forward navigation into the metrics to try and work out from the blue lines which which um, process step has got the most amount of errors. So in this case, the goods receipt report, that's, that's 100 percent in error, so they've got a bit of work to do there. The article inquiry, they've got a bit of work to do there. You can start allocating some effort to, to each, of the, each of the different um, disciplines within the testing in order to get what you're looking for. So some other um, slices and dices you, you may want to do, you may want to consider having a look at a business process level, at a scenario level, at a package level, uh, at a test plan level. So you can have a look, uh, you know, in, in a number of different uh, in a number of different formats. So by extracting the right data, you might even get down to the user who's actually uh, doing the testing. So how you cut and dice the data is entirely up to you. So that's a, a very simple fly through for how to upload data from the testing workbench and solution manager into BI on demand and to create some reports as you go. Once you create the reports, you can actually share the reports as well. So you can save them and then you can share these with your other colleagues. So So thanks for listening. This has been Tony De Thomas is showing you how to do some reporting for your testing effort in Solution Manager.